Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, last week I made a video about how, you know, the job industry is kind of broken and it's becoming more and more difficult in cyber security to land a good job. And one of the reasons I mentioned was AI, right? AI is taking away a lot of jobs and disrupting the job market. But one good thing about AI is also is it's creating a lot of new jobs. And one of the hottest industries right now is AI security. And if you follow the channel, you know how much I talk about AI security and why it's so important to like really like know about AI security and the type of jobs that it's creating. Now, one uh, mistake I see a lot of people making, they tell me that they want to get into AI security. And when I tell them, okay, what, what do you want to do in AI security? Uh, they have no idea. They just say, I want to, I want to go into AI security. They don't understand that AI security has a lot of different career paths. It's not just one straight line. There are multiple lines. You can go into AI GRC or AI penetration testing or AI, as I say, AI security engineer, an agentic security engineer into AI privacy. There are multiple career roadmaps. So you have to understand which is good for you and which is the area that you want to take. And that's what I want to cover in today's video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Tamur Lal. I'm a senior security consultant with AWS. And I made this channel to give advice on AI security, cloud, and cybersecurity careers. So please do like and subscribe to this channel. And let's get started. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Which AI security career path is for you? Like I said, there are multiple career paths, multiple job titles. So you really should know what is the skills required for each and which is like aligning to your strengths okay so let's go like let's have a quick introduction first so why go into ai security first of all right a lot of people tell me that this is just hype this is just trend and i very respectfully disagree with that and i'll show you some evidence also ai is transforming cyber security and the whole job market right now right and 10 years back Cloud security was one of the hottest industries and people kept saying cloud is, uh, cloud is just hype, cloud is just hype and more and more companies were moving to the cloud and are still moving to the cloud, right? And cloud security was one of the like very good future-proof career paths that were there. So if you are looking to future-proof your uh, like career path and look at something exciting, AI security is definitely one of the best cyber security career paths that are available right now. And if you want to give some like, uh, I want to give some Evidence also. So Anthropic, they've just released their threat intelligence report as of August 2025. It's freely available on the internet. And you know, they mentioned some of the trends which are happening. So they did mention that how agentic AI systems are being weaponized. People, people are actually taking over agentic AI and using it for cyber attacks, which I've talked about before. They mentioned how AI is making cyber crime more and more easy, how cyber criminals are using AI to supercharge their systems and across the board, be it like uh, know your customer, credit card fraud, uh, phishing, whatever fraud you can think of, AI is being used. And the only effective way of fighting AI cybercrime is, is to fight AI with AI and really understand what are the, like the types of threats that are happening, you know? And they even showed uh, the, some case studies. I'm gonna link this uh, article. You can check it out also. Vibe, ha vibe hacking is becoming more and more popular where like cyber criminals are using vibe coding to create this sort of agentic AI, remote worker fraud. AI is allowing people to create malware without doing any code. Uh, like, you know, uh, literally there are malware development campaigns happening because of that. So just to show you how cyber crime is, like shifting and you know what happens like uh, jobs in cyber security they are created to mitigate risk if if there is a risk present then the CISO wants to mitigate this risk then usually he says okay like we need to fill in this position like so AI security is becoming, becoming a major major risk and that's why new positions are happening new positions are being developed so that is why it's so important for you to develop this sort of skill set so and the very key important point AI security is not a single job. Uh, like I said, I don't know why people say I'm going to go into AI security. Like what, what within AI security you want to go? So it's like a huge ecosystem of roles, right? Each has its own focus, responsibility, skills. So you should choose the one that fits your like existing and your future skill set and you want to focus on. So please keep this in mind. So let's take a, like a, a look at a few of the career paths that are available right now. And maybe you can then decide which is good for you, right? So the first is the AI security engineer. So th this is a person who is like the hands-on person who is actually uh, implementing security controls to protect the AI systems. You know, the AI system, it has a life cycle, right? From the data to the machine learning to deployment. 
so training data models, making sure that the models are secure. You should know a little bit of Python API, very learning, you should, important, you should know machine learning. You should know how machine learning attacks happen and you should know cloud security. This sort of skill set, uh, I want to compare this with, you know, the endpoint engineer, the cybersecurity analyst or the cybersecurity engineer, the one person who is looking after on-prem like the DLP or the endpoint. This, if you have the skill set, this is the job which really maps to your existing skill set as an AI security engineer, but you need to upskill yourself, know a little bit of Python, how the machine learning techniques happen, and like cloud security skills, because most of these systems are being hosted on the cloud. So that is the first one I wanted to talk about, which is AI security engineer. The next one is the AI threat modeler. So this is a person who like looks at the AI architecture and identifies the risks which are there. It, AI systems are not like a monolith, right? You can have public hosted AI systems like Gen AI, like ChatGPT. You could have a completely on-prem AI system. You could have like a agentic AI system. You could have like a semi-hybrid AI system where the data is on-prem, but the system is in the cloud. So the multiple systems have different types of risks. That's why you need to understand, have a very good understanding of AI architecture, generative AI. You need to understand threat modeling, how it works, and the new types of threat modeling which is coming out like Maestro and have a very good understanding of risk assessment and documentation skills. This is a very, very hot career. People are implementing AI at scale and they need people who are able to identify unique types of AI risks which are present. Okay. The third number three is the AI red teamer. Now, this is like the ethical hacking for AI. Their job is to break AI systems, you know, do those sort of like prompt injection, um, data poisoning, uh, machine learning po po poisoning, model poisoning, model inference, all those sort of specialized attacks. If you have a background in penetration testing or you are interested in this, then again, this is a very, very hot field. Google companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, they are spending billions and billions of dollars for people to come in and red team their machine learning models to find out if there are any weaknesses. There, there is like a free framework called MITRE ATLAS, if you're not familiar with this, which really shows what are the real world attacks which are happening. So if you have like a skill set for penetration testing and you're interested in a new type of area, career path, then the AI red teamer is definitely for you. What else is there? AI GRC specialist. Now, supposing you don't have technical skills. I mean, you find AI to be fascinating, but you're not really like interested in deep diving into Python or, you know, machine learning, mathematical code and all that. This is the job for you. If you have a good understanding of frameworks, the AI governance specialists, they are focusing more on the policies, the compliance, the ethics. We have so many standards coming up. Governments, and like uh, companies across the globe, they want to put in a proper framework to protect the AI systems so that they, do, they don't get subject to fines, right? So things like the EU AI Act, ISO 42001, the NIST AI Risk Management Framework, if you're able to take that and translate that into something that companies can understand, then this is the job for you. Okay, what is the AI incident responder? So these are people who know incident response, but they know how to map it to an AI uh, world, right? For example, if an agentic AI it goes rogue and starts doing the wrong thing or it gets taken over. How will you take the, like, how will you shut it down? This is not like a server or a database, right? Do you have, like, do you know how to make a playbook for revoking its access, for shutting it down, for reverting it back to a previously well-known state? So it's, you need to understand how models behave, model behavior, emergent behavior, misalignment, those sort of unique attacks which are happening. You need to be able to communicate those sort of things. Again, this is becoming very, very, important as uh, companies are implementing machine learning models at scale. I mean, you can take a look at the companies like Anthropic and the sort of jobs they are posting. They are, they are looking for people with this sort of skill set. Okay, what is uh, agentic AI security architect? Now, this is again, this is similar to the threat modeling, but focus definitely focused on multi-agentic AI ecosystems. As companies are implementing agentic AI, as you've seen last week, I showed you companies like Fiverr, Salesforce, all of them are implementing agentic AI at scale and they need people who understand these frameworks, things like AWS Strands, Langchain, Crew AI and the sort of risks that happen because agentic AI has a very different type of risks from other things like things like emergent behavior, misalignment and you need to know threat modeling frameworks like Maestro. So if you know threat modeling and you are very interested in agentic AI, this is a job for you, I would say. Okay, so I've covered like a large variety of roles, right? Some are technical, some are not technical, some are GRC related, some are penetration testing. How to choose 
uh, which role applies to you, your skill set. So I want you to think of AI security as a team sport, right? You have engineers who are building the defenses, threat modeling people, they predict the risks. Red teamers are doing the stress testing, incident responders are handling the crises. GRC people are looking at the overall framework and architects are designing the big picture, right? So which role is right for you here? If you love hands-on technical work, then an AI security engineer, red teamer, privacy, that's the job for you. If you like strategic oversight, you know, looking at it from a high level, the security, threat modeler, security architect. If you are non-technical, you like governance more, then the AI GRC analyst is for you. And if you I like thrive in kiosk response, incident responder, that's for you. So take a look at that and then try to understand which job you think will focus, will allow you to really, uh, what do you call, apply the skills and the strengths that you have. I hope this gave you a good idea of the type of roles that are present and which can apply to you. Like I said, AI security is a massive field. Choose the job that's aligning to your strengths and to your future roadmap where you want to be in like three to five years from now. If you still need help, I have a number of courses on Udemy and Udemy business. I'm going to link them below. You can check them out. I have courses for beginners. I have courses for people who are more technical. I have courses for people who want governance. So whichever like uh, you feel the career path is for you and you, st and you want to develop further, do check them out. Uh, okay, that covers it. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.